Fame, the key to making your way in Italian politics. That's the moral of filmmaker Eric Gandini's Videocracy, premiering at this year's Venice Film Festival. It's also an attack on Italian TV and how the advent of populist channels in the 1970s has cast a long shadow over both politics and press freedom. It has the power to immortalize, to bring you political success, fame and fortune. Television has so much power, almost like a supernatural power. Scantily clad women and game shows, the ingredients of peak time Italian TV. Gandini uses this heady mixture to maximum effect in his film. In Sweden, where the director now lives, the documentary is already making waves. In Sweden, videocracy was summed up by one paper as the horror film of the year. This is an Italy where a B-movie actress can make her way into government. That's what happened to Mara Calfagna, nominated by Prime Minister and media mogul Silvio Berlusconi as Minister for Opportunity in 2008. Videocracy is about the power of pictures over the country. That's what it's like in Italy. If you aren't on TV, then you don't exist. Over the last 30 years, Italy has lived through a period defined by TV culture, which has come to represent a cultural revolution. It's perhaps no surprise that the film's release in Italy has been plagued with obstacles. The public television network Rai has refused to air a trailer for the film, saying that it represents a direct attack on the government.